MIT scientists just shot down a popular theory for why lava ocean planets are so bright. Here's what they found. Hot super-Earths are fiery rocket planets orbiting so close to their suns that their surface is heated to lava oceans, and some of those lava worlds, which are roughly Earth-sized, are also extraordinarily bright. According to new research in the Astrophysical Journal, hot super-Earths circle their host stars in 10 days or less, and they reflect 40% to 50% of their star's light. In contrast, Earth reflects only about 10% of the sun's light. The researchers melted basalt and feldspar at laboratory conditions and then took spectrometer measurements of how much light the substances gave off. The results suggest that lava accounts for only 10% of a hot super-Earth's light. The researchers speculate that lava ocean planets do not owe their brightness to molten lava or cooled glass, as formerly assumed. Instead, the scientists speculate that their brilliance may have originated from metal-rich atmospheres and reflective clouds. First author Zara Asak is cited as saying, We still have so much to understand about these lava ocean planets. She adds, We thought of them as just glowing balls of rock. But these planets may have complex systems of surface and atmospheric processes that are quite exotic and not anything we've ever seen before. If you find exoplanets interesting, raise your hand. No, you don't actually have to do that. But what you should know, though, is that there is an exoplanet so hot, it literally rains molten iron. Scientists have found evidence of molten iron rain driven by extreme heat on an exoplanet 640 light years from Earth. Exoplanet WASP-76b is found in the Gemini constellation, where its close orbit to a star causes extreme temperatures on one side of the planet while the other side is cooler. According to Physics World, the conditions are hot enough to break down molecules into atoms on the side exposed to the star. On the darker side, these can recombine into molecules. The exoplanet orbits the star differently to how Earth orbits the Sun. Earth rotates as it circles the Sun, the exoplanet does not. The Guardian reports that, similar to Earth's moon, the exoplanet is tidally locked to the star. This means that only one side of the planet is continually exposed to the star, while the other is locked in darkness. So, if you're suddenly transported there, depending on what side you wind up on, you'll either melt or freeze. It's these conditions that are believed to create the exoplanet's extreme weather conditions and iron rain. And, as if molten metal showers weren't bad enough, WASP-76b is also home to 10,000 mph winds and temperatures in excess of 1,000 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, NASA has made great big plans to study exoplanets from the moon. According to a NASA-funded report, space researchers have proposed building a network of radio antennas on the far side of the moon. NASA says that the array, named the Farsight Antennas, will allow the agency to monitor the closest stellar systems more easily. The paper's lead authors, Professors Jack Burns and Greg Hallinan, suggest deploying 128 antennas by using a lunar rover. The antennas will be tethered to a base station that supplies central data processing, power, and communications across the array's 10-kilometer span. The study used Blue Origin's Blue Moon Lander as a reference design for the project's transport spacecraft. The Farside base then will use NASA's proposed gateway station to transmit signals back to Earth. Habitable exoplanets closest to the solar system would possess magnetospheres that the antennas will be able to detect from the moon's far side, where there is limited sky noise. The study states that the antennas could also sound the moon's subsurface. Not all exoplanets are burning hellscapes. Some of those planets are more chill, and they're the sort of places where scientists expect to find alien life. Are we alone in the universe? NASA and Breakthrough Initiatives want to find out. NASA and Breakthrough Initiatives will collaborate to search for intelligent alien life. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, will cooperate with Breakthrough Listens facilities around the world, according to Breakthrough Initiatives' press release from October 23rd. TESS, launched as a successor to the space probe Kepler in 2018, carries four wide-view cameras and advanced instruments capable of detecting small, rocky planets similar to Earth that could support life. LISTEN's primary facilities, including the Green Bank and Parks Telescopes and Meerkat, will take part in the collaboration that is expected to furnish meaningful data and refine analysis strategy. According to Breakthrough Initiatives, advanced alien civilizations could engage in large-scale engineering projects by building megastructures that interfere with stellar light. TESS could detect these variations in stellar light, known as light curves, allowing researchers to analyze abnormal or interesting changes in stellar brightness. 
Advanced alien civilizations could also emit signals known as techno-signatures via transmitters, propulsion systems, and other technological apparatus. TESS increases the probability of detecting techno-signatures by only observing planets that pass their host stars as seen from Earth, or along their orbital planes, where transmissions are most likely. Let's hope we don't get the wrong kind of attention from the galactic community. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.